did you get into Arabian belly dance? Well, in fact, the first time I saw Arabian dancing, I was in holiday in Italy. No, <laughs> I was in holiday in Egypt, of course. And uh, I went to a big cabaret, and the friend who I was with, she decided not to go at the last minute because there was a, a big table of tapas. Uh, I think I don't think that's the Egyptian word, but it looked like tapas to me. And uh, uh, because one or two had had uh, meat, she was vegetarian. She decided not to go. So there I was alone with 22 mezzas, 22 mezzas, and I saw a dance show that just changed my life. There were jugglers and there were people dancing with chandeliers. There was a guy who did a dervish. There was a fire eater and of course drum solos. And then the Arabian belly dancer, Egyptian style, came on. And I had never seen anything so feminine, so voluptuous, or so exuberant. And I was won over. Tell us about your one woman show. Paris. Well, the one woman show came about one day here in Paris. I went to the funeral of Oscar Wilde and I had already learned the text Salome and it was done in French and I felt quite frustrated because me too, I wanted to do uh, by Oscar Wilde's grave and extract and I told someone and uh, she told the priest who was in our company and then uh, and then afterwards when we were speaking they asked me about my other things that I did so I told them I did extracts from James Joyce, Oscar Wilde and that I also mixed in dancing so they invited me to do a Wonder Woman show at the Irish Cultural Centre in Paris so it was a gigantic opportunity for me. Do you miss Ireland? Sometimes I miss Ireland. I miss the traditional Irish music. I miss Friday nights because in Dublin Friday night is so exuberant and in Paris it's less exuberant and um, I'm so tender about Ireland but yet I feel in Paris I have more opportunities to become a bigger person intellectually, creatively, professionally and opportunities abound here what I had expected to be a deficiency in not speaking French perfectly uh, turned out to be a talent because it's in the international community that I make all the contacts and because I'm an English speaking person I get invited to attend and join in so many soirees it's been really great Why did you leave Dublin for Paris? So why did I leave why did I leave Dublin for Paris? Well, Dublin is a fabulous place. I really loved my life in, Paris, in Dublin. I, I loved the music and speaking Irish, etc. But after a certain while, it became small, 20 years, and I felt that I had perhaps exhausted all the opportunities. I didn't feel there was too much else on offer there. And so I just needed pastures new. And Paris just proved to be much richer ground than I had ever imagined for creativity. Is Arabian style dance your soul inspiration? Arabian style dance, is it my favorite or only? Well, it is true, I really love music from Arab countries. I love it. I like to mix um, Egyptian and Turkish and Lebanese styles. But I found that for me, I needed something else. Movies or I don't know what had influenced me when I was a little girl. Maybe movies with the Hawaiian dancers. I wanted to learn to use my hands. And so for that, I learned Indonesian dancing, that is Balinese dancing, because they do all kinds of beautiful things with the hands. And um, so I mix that into my Egyptian dancing. And also another thing that I adore is a uh, gypsy dancing. In France we call it zigan dancing. I love gypsy violins and there's something about the energy there and the pure exuberance that um, just puts me on fire. So I try to learn some of that and I try to have that energy when I dance also. What other kind of shows have you done? 
It's actually exciting sometimes to discover creativity in yourself. And so, I, I, I have done some different things. I worked in a, a Shakespeare play. I was a fairy, a dancing fairy. But it was a gigantic experience. I would love to have been the fairy queen in A Midsummer Night's Dream, but they wanted me to dance, so I didn't get to say the beautiful words. But I did get to say the beautiful words in um, James Joyce's Ulysses. You've been writing a novel. What's the storyline or theme? So my novel, which is called Now and at the Hour of Our Death, Amen, which you think sounds very sad, um, basically is my legacy to life. It includes all the, all the poetry and sentimentality and tragedy and ebullience I've experienced in my life, but not it's not about me, I'm not one of the personalities, or if I am, I'm one of the seven, I'm every one of the seven characters. And um, I have chosen uh, a Catholic, a Catholic mother, um, a Jewish bachelor, a Muslim suicide bomber, a Hindu dancer, not an Arabian dancer, a Hindu dancer, Indian, um, a Buddhist, I decided the Buddhist would be from Paris, not a monk, but a lay Buddhist who has the, the morality but yet lives an ordinary life, a Protestant, hedonistic Protestant rather than a practicing Protestant, and an atheist. And for the atheist, I decided to put him in Holy Catholic Ireland so that you could see the contrast, how he reasons against religion and how he hates it and I feel that that gives a, a balanced view of religion in the world and I would hope that it will make people tolerate and understand if they're built if they're born into any particular way of life you, you are influenced by it I know you're an English teacher in Paris yes. Would you prefer to be a full-time performer instead? So teaching, in fact, I really love my job as a teacher. It's true. I love dancing and performing. I like dressing up and I like people looking at me. But not necessary all day, every day. And when I do my teaching, I feel that I'm giving. I feel that I'm helping. And so in a way, I get more job satisfaction. And I suppose... I take the kind of humanistic approach to teaching, or I'm very aware of the psychological uh, aspect of it, that nothing succeeds like success. So I like to encourage my students every step of the way, and for them to feel it's a total pleasure to learn. And I actually, I would never give up my job teaching, because it's really, it's something that gives me a validation, a joy of life, and I feel I'm contributing to the world.